Hey there, financial enthusiasts. Today, we've got something special lined up for you, a deep dive into the 12 life lessons they never teach you in school. And believe us, these nuggets of wisdom are game changers, From choosing the right life partner with solid financial habits to mastering the art of short and long-term financial goals, we're about to embark on a journey that will revolutionize the way you handle your money. So, grab your notepads, get ready for some invaluable insights, and let's dive into the world of personal finance that goes beyond textbooks. Get ready to transform your financial future Lesson 1. Marry the Financially Right Person Choose a partner with good money habits, not necessarily rich or a financial genius. During dating, show your true financial self. If you can't afford it now, you likely won't later. Be open about money before marriage to avoid surprises and conflicts. Money is a big cause of couple fights. Discuss your money philosophy early. Are you a saver? Is your partner a spender? What about debts, home ownership, assets, salary, and credit scores? These questions are crucial. They might seem tricky, but they're vital. Knowing each other's financial history helps you understand your partner and yourself better. Lesson 2. Stay married to the financially right person. Divorce can be a fast track to financial trouble. Think about it. You might lose a big chunk of your money due to legal fees, living costs, alimony, and child support. Staying married has financial benefits. Choose a spouse who shares your money values and understands that marriage is a long-term commitment. Talk openly about your finances regularly, not just once a year. Discuss your monthly budget, net worth, issues, opportunities, and future goals. This doesn't just set you up for financial success. It builds an open, honest marriage. Remember, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Be happy with what you have. Lesson 3. Having and raising children costs lots of money. Having kids is wonderful but it's important to know it comes with costs. Raising children means more than just the basics like education and healthcare. There are also extra expenses for a bigger house, car, utilities, and activities they enjoy. Raising a child can cost $200,000 to $250,000, excluding college. That's a lot. You'll likely spend more on them than on yourself. So, before starting a family, think about the financial trade-offs. Having kids means being less selfish with your money. It might seem a bit cold to think of children this way, but understanding the financial side is crucial. Once you decide to have kids, focus on loving them, and everything will fall into place. Lesson 4. Always live below your means. A key to managing money well is waiting until you can afford things before buying them. Many people want everything now, but if you keep buying things you can't afford, it leads to financial trouble. Living below your means is crucial. It doesn't mean living poorly. It means being smart about your spending. Prioritize what's important, and you'll have extra money to save and invest. Over time, your money will grow giving you financial security. Lesson 5. Take care of your stuff. Taking care of your belongings might sound like something your parents nagged about, but it's a money-saving game-changer. Now that you're footing the bills, looking after your stuff can save you loads. Even simple things like clothing and furniture benefit from proper care. Treat them right, and they'll last much longer. Maintenance might seem costly in the short term, 
but not maintaining your stuff can cost way more in the long run. So, take care of your things, and your wallet will thank you. Lesson 6. Expand your circle of friends' associates and keep in touch with them. Building lasting friendships isn't just great for your spirit. It can also be a game changer for your finances. Friends often share valuable, free financial advice. I've received some of my best money tips from friends and vice versa. Start by staying connected with friends from high school and college. With technology like email and social media, it's easier than ever. Remember birthdays and anniversaries, and you'll cultivate a network of friends who can offer insights into various careers and personal money management. Expand your network at work. Don't just stick to your department. Get to know people across the organization. Even a causal relationship with someone in accounting or the CFO can be beneficial. However, avoid having a friend as your investment advisor. The risks outweigh the benefits. It's okay to seek advice from friends, but make your own money decisions. People love giving advice, so don't hesitate to ask questions. In the end, managing your money is your responsibility. Lesson 7. You take away more from your first couple of jobs than you give. Your early jobs are like paid learning experiences. Even though it might feel like your employer benefits less from your work, you gain a lot. Many young adults miss out on this by doing only the minimum required. Don't fall into that trap. Instead, see your first job as a chance to learn and grow. Take on extra tasks, ask questions, and attend seminars. The more you put into your early positions, the more knowledge you gain for your future career. It might even lead to a promotion. Think of your job as an extension of your college learning, with one big difference. The company is paying you to learn. Embrace this attitude, and you'll be ahead of others in your career, and financially just a few years down the road. Lesson 8. Spend just one hour each week learning about personal finance. Investing just one hour a week in personal finance can make a huge difference. Start with free resources like the internet, your local library, company seminars, and seeking advice from friends and family. Finding a mentor can provide valuable insights. Consider subscribing to The Money Magazine for a small fee. It's easy to read and offers practical advice. Remember, during school, you probably didn't spend much time learning about personal finance, but dedicating just one hour a week adds up. Over time, you'll accumulate valuable knowledge and potentially save or earn thousands of dollars. It's a small investment with significant returns. Lesson 9. Get Rich Slowly Becoming wealthy usually takes time. 99% of millionaires earn their money gradually, not overnight like lottery winners or those who inherit a fortune. Most millionaires started with little or no money and limited knowledge about making it. Like you, they began working after school, earning and saving gradually Their income grew over time as they saved and invested wisely, learning more about personal money management along the way. They made both good and bad decisions, living well but not extravagantly. They focused on getting the best value for their money, not on flashy spending. It's crucial to enjoy the journey to wealth. If you work only for money, you might wake up one day realizing that wealth alone isn't enough. The slow path to wealth can bring more than just money. It can provide a fulfilling and rewarding journey.
Lesson 10. Set Realistic Short-Term Financial Goals Having short-term financial goals is crucial, and they should be realistic and achievable. This helps you stay motivated. Include savings and investing in your goals, and don't forget to reward yourself. Set monthly goals and annual goals. Setting and tracking these goals gives you a good chance of achieving them. If you don't set goals, you won't achieve them. Do this monthly and annually, and regularly review and adjust. It's a smart way to manage your money and work toward your aspirations. Lesson 11. Set Realistic Long-Term Financial Goals Don't lose sight of your long-term financial goals. Get a habit to set and adjust them annually. Keep it simple, make them realistic, and update them as needed. Your goals may change as your situation evolves, but that's okay. The key is to regularly think through and work towards them. Realistic and achievable long-term goals can surprise you. Often, you'll not only achieve them, but exceed them. It gives you purpose and a reason to work hard. Lesson 12. Always know the score. Your net worth Managing your money is about growing your net worth over time. To do this, keep track of it with a simple net worth statement. Update it regularly and set goals based on your progress. Experts might say to check this yearly, but I recommend looking at it monthly. This helps you always know your financial position and allows you to react quickly in emergencies. Your net worth is what you're worth in dollars. To find this, add up everything you own and subtract everything you owe. It's an essential tool for staying on top of your financial game. And there you have it, folks. The 12 life lessons they never taught you in school, now unwrapped and ready for you to apply in your life. We hope these insights spark a positive change in the way you approach your finances. But hey, the journey doesn't end here. I encourage you to hit that like button, share this video with your pals, and most importantly, subscribe for more content that empowers you on your financial journey. Growing is commendable, and we salute you for taking the time to invest in yourself, Keep those financial goals in sight, stay wise with your money, and we'll catch you in the next video.